Hey, welcome to Morning Coffee Talk, guys. Cheers. Happy Monday. This morning, we are going to be going over the four cardinal virtues. Okay. You know, we talk about what it is to be a man on here, and I believe that these virtues are all things that a man needs to have. So that's why we're going to be going over them. And right now, I'm still reading the three marks of manhood, how to be the priest, prophet, and king of your family, guys. And that's what... Um, this morning's morning coffee talks out of. So the four cardinal virtues, I'll start off with what they are. Number one is prudence. Number two is justice. Number three is fortitude. And number four is temperance, okay? Now, men, all men need to have these, I believe. And here's why. These virtues guide our conduct, leading us um, towards freedom based on self-control, guys. Self-control. That's the big key word here, self-control and toward joy and living a more and great and a good moral life, guys. All right. So that's what it's all about, morals and self-control, basically, is what all these come down to. Okay. So the first one is prudence and it's considered the intellectual virtue. Okay. And it's basically wisdom, having the wisdom to guide you to make proper decision making. Okay. So it's the ability to have right judgments on any situation you're in, basically what it comes down to. And it's the first of uh, the virtues because it is the ability to look at a concrete situation and know what ought to be done. Okay? So that's the first one, prudence. Number two, justice. And it's considered the moral virtue. Now, what is, uh, what's the importance of justice? Well, it has you so you respect the rights of others and give them what they are due. Okay, this, this virtue consists of constant and firm will to give God and their neighbor their due, right? So respecting the rights of others, understanding that we all have differences, but we can still respect each other, right? We might not agree on everything, right? There's a lot of things that me and you aren't going to agree on. Hell, you might not agree on what I'm talking about here today, but we respect your right to have your own opinion on the situations and things. So that's basically what that one comes down to, guys. All right. So respect for others. Pretty simple. Number three, fortitude. Okay. Fortitude is what gives us strength to get the job done. This is pr pretty much simply put, fortitude could be called courage. That's what I would consider it. <clears throat> this is the virtue that allows us to overcome fear and to remain steady in our will to face any obstacles, right? It's courage. Practicing what is good and just, even when it is difficult and may even be dangerous or even deadly. Okay, guys? So courage, fortitude. All men need to have this. You need to have it. Especially when, right, the difference between right and wrong. And sticking up for the right thing all the time, right? It's not always easy. Sometimes it's very hard to do. But having that fortitude, okay, guys? And the last one, which I believe is probably the main one, I believe, is temperance. And I got to work on this myself, and all men have to constantly, right? And this hits the mean, the means of the regards to the bodily pleasure. So food, drinking, drugs, sex, things like that. Self-control. This is the big one for self-control, right, guys? This is of achieved importance in the moral and spiritual development of a young man. All men need temperance. All men need fortitude. All men need justice. And all men need prudence, guys. This is not, again, this is not my opinion. These are facts. I try to lay out the facts here, guys. All men need these things in, them li in their lives. Blah, blah, blah. Can't talk this morning. In their lives. Are you going to have these, right? Are you going to stand up for what's right, no matter what, even when everyone's against you? Because you know what's right. And that's what all this basically comes down to. Are you going to stand up and do the right thing, even when no one's looking, even when it's just you and God? Because that's when it really comes down to everything. It's easy to do it when everybody's watching you to do the right thing. But are you going to do these things all the time, no matter what? So I'm just laying this out here for you guys this morning. The four cardinal virtues, again, I'll say them. Number one, prudence. Number two, justice. Number three, fortitude. 
and number four, temperance, guys. But that's this morning's Morgan Coffee Talk. Just a quick little run through of them. Hopefully you guys look them up for yourselves. I did some research on them. Honestly, I didn't really know much about them, and I didn't really know much about virtues and what virtues were, why we should have virtues. So this is all a learning experience for me as well, guys. And then we use this along with reading this and going over this stuff, guys. We use these in our men's accountability group. We discuss them, what people believe they are, what people, their meanings behind everything, and to know other people's opinions on this stuff. So that was this, this morning's morning coffee talk, guys. Pretty simple, real quick. But I think all men should practice these four virtues these four cardinal virtues, there are, there are other virtues, right? And I highly suggest you guys look them up yourself and read on them, just as I did here, right? We're learning together. We're trying to grow every day, guys. Part of that is obviously the physical side that we do on here, a lot of the working out, but also the spiritual and the mental side, right? So our reading, our meditating, waking up, showing gratitude daily, right? Delaying gratification and showing gratitude, guys. That should be the top two things you do every day. Get up in the morning. Delay that gratification. Go get some hard shit done first, right? Go get them workouts in. Make your bed. All these things, right? Before you show any type of anything that uh, is going to make you feel good, right? So get the hard shit done. Delay that gratification and show gratitude. Wake up every morning. Tell God, thank you for another day. Everything you're thankful for, guys. I'm telling you, if you start your day with delaying gratification and showing gratitude, it can completely transform your mind and how you think. And how you go about your day, guys. It definitely does it for me. All right, so uh, just a quick little morning coffee talk this morning. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, if you guys have any questions on anything, anything you'd like to, me to uh, talk about in these morning coffee talks, my opinion or anything, I'd appreciate it, guys. Makes life a lot easier to come up with stuff for these morning coffee talks. But I hope you guys have a great Monday. And remember, guys, delay that gratification and show gratitude and go out there and let's be the best motherfucking man we can be today for our families, for our communities, and for God, all right? Because everyone's counting on you. I promise you that. Guys, everyone's counting on you. So have a great day. And as always, go get you some, baby. Ah!